off the air conditioning to do this intro and then I'm putting it right back on so if I start sweating that's why so this is going to be a little fun like New York City night and then tomorrow the morning because <laughs> it's my best friend's birthday we're actually like almost celebrating like nine years of friendship so so she came to the city she came to my new apartment and we're hanging out right now she's in the shower I just got out of the shower and we're going to start getting ready to go to dinner soon she got here like a few hours ago and we did some shopping i didn't get any clips because i forgot my camera at home my friend like never comes to the city really so we had to go to like all the stores in soho but i'll just show you what we got from brandy i got this it's like blue it's so adorable like why is everything they make so cute and then i got two earrings they're just like silver hoops i feel like they're the hoops they have are really cute and sturdy and stuff so from h&m i got a little heart necklace from zara i just got two things i got this red top it's like a crosses in the back i also got this it's like ribbed it's a really pretty blue color i've just really been into like these like longer type bra tops and then today a package came in the mail i got this dress from princess polly it's like the stargazing like mini dress that everybody gets um it fits me and everything but it's pretty short in the back like i don't know why but the back is like a significant like two inches shorter and i'm already tall so i don't know if i'm keeping it but if anything i'm taking some photos tonight and then i'll just like change because <laughs> i'm not wearing this out to get cat cold. i have to start getting ready so I'm in my dress, it's so cute. I might not wear it out because it's freaking short as hell. It's like up my butt. Here's the birthday girl. Hello. <laughs> Give us 90s. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please. Looks so good. I'm putting a new roll in my camera. But you guys know I love my film. And we're gonna try to fill all 36 exposures by tomorrow. Let me be your woman. Woman. Sorry. So many rape edits. <laughs> We're going to take cute photos on the fire escape because it's only a matter of time before my hair gets like frizzy and humid. And I just did it with the Revlon bro dryer thing, so I'm gonna go work fast. I need you close. Take some photos out on the fire escape, and then I don't know what happened, but I got like really nauseous all of a sudden and like almost threw up. So, anyways, I got into the dress I'm gonna wear for dinner and it's like almost nine o'clock and I'm actually starving. I think we both can tell we're about to pass out, so. My apartment providing <laughs> such a good mirror, but OTD. <laughs> okay, five flights of stairs and heels, chop chop. Birthday girl in 45 minutes. <laughs> go, go shopping. It's your birthday. We got a party. Anyways, anyways, she has how many minutes till her birthday? Ocho. Um, <laughs> she has to open her present. Don't get too excited. <laughs> It's bad luck, you can't wear it before your actual shine. birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> she literally looks like a little Greek goddess. So cute. It's like not one of those ugly, like cheesy exactly. ones. Exactly. It's like a cute aesthetic one. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> I, of course, have to send the birthday girl her annual text message. Spell check has left the chat. Happy birthday, <laughs> Love you so much. Oh, happy <laughs> word, friends. Keep me chatting to you, but we should hang out more. You're super pretty and chill. XOXO. Have the best, the best, best, best day. Nasty 19. <laughs> My go-to is always to pretend we're still in middle school and doing TV ages. I blew up her bed where we're crammed in a like, small room. <laughs> It'll, yeah. Anyways, good night.
and it's the next day it's katie's birthday so we're gonna go first to get starbucks um for her birthday free drink we're gonna go to central park and have like a little picnic but like not a food picnic just like a book picnic after that i'm gonna take her to like a brunch kind of lunch outing we both had like terrible nights of sleep but it's fine because nobody cares about sleep it's not time to sleep it's time to go out into the city also there's a heat wave today mm -hmm. oh, so hot i turn the ac back on So Central Park didn't exactly work out because we were too hot to figure it out. So anyways, it's literally like 10 a.m. and it's like almost 100 degrees. So we're in Tompkins Square Park right now. I'm reading the Spanish Love Deception. I'll give the class a synopsis too. This girl needs a date for her sister's wedding because her ex will be there. And her coworker is like, I'll go with you. And she's like, no, I hate you. And then he's like, we can make a deal. Like, I'll be your fake date and you can be my fake date. And anyway, so he's like totally in love with her. I already know, I already know. I'm on page 200. <laughs> what? Do so you think in the beginning when he offered you lecture? Definitely. I've been giving Acadia book recommendations because I've just been like reading a bunch of romance books. But she's, almost, she's basically read everything I recommended. I'm surprised. Yeah. She just read the deal, and I love the deal, so that was nice. But um, if you guys have any more recommendations for us to read, let me know. My book is about, it's called Ugly Love. It is about um, a girl named Tate who <laughs> moves in with her brother. Then he has this um, friend across the hall named Miles, and obviously they have someone going on, you know, Tate and Miles. And then other than that, I don't really know, because I'm like, I'm not that- <laughs> If they have mere predictions. I'm really I've already read it, so There's I'm a telling her. Miles' part is in the past, when he was in high school. He, like, is in love with this girl named Rachel, and my prediction is that she's dead. <laughs> so, I think I'm right. Is she right? Lunch. Now we're going to Barnes and Noble on the way to Zara. She's returning her dress. Yeah, but Barnes and Noble's supposed to have like fifty percent off today. Really hope some of the romance books are discounted. We're back in my apartment. We both feel like absolute death. I showered and changed, but my hair is pretty much case for the day because it's gotten so sweaty. So. Lovely. Acadia missed her train, so she's gonna go on the next one. Also, I just finished this book and it's crazy, but Acadia wants to read it, so as a birthday gift, I'm gonna let her borrow it. I'll be getting it back in 2025, probably, so. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna do another book video on my channel because I just love doing those. You guys can hear me talk about this in that video. So. Plugging my future endeavors in this video. My best friend, hey. she's going oh, home. So college in like three days because she couldn't just take another gap year like gosh <laughs> now when i have an apartment she's gonna be gone we're the same age but she took a gap year last year so she's never been to Kalaheo yet and last year she was like around all the time so we can always meet up so now she's gonna be yeah. in the tundra like five hours away i think we'll be friends <laughs> forever definitely i mean we've already been almost a decade so i'm fine we already cried on her videos. <sighs> All right, bye. bye. That was pretty chaotic. I'm literally crying, but it's okay. I didn't even think I was gonna end up filming my goodbye with her, so it came on a little strong. Anyways, this is such a random video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's probably like the most fun two days I've had since I moved into my apartment and um, I'm just gonna miss her so much. It's okay. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.